do like the butterfly bun. Less commercially available than they once were, the butterfly buns. They seem to have been replaced in shops by cupcakes. And I found out recently that the easiest way to buy a butterfly bun from a shop um, is to buy a Colin the Caterpillar cake and then put that in a cupboard for two weeks and just wait for nature to take its course. <laughs> Niche. I've got two left feet, but that doesn't stop me going to the bar dance. The bar dance. But it's nice, it's nice to be here. Uh, before the gig, I, I went and met up with uh, some friends uh, for an early lunch in Darlington. And we, we, went, we went to a French restaurant. A French restaurant in Darlington? It's a, what? None of this is true. And I, uh, and I poop you not, guys. I poop you not at this French restaurant. At this French restaurant. Not only did they have fish poison on the menu. <laughs> they couldn't even spell poison right. It's a, idiots. It's a, that joke does require a key stage two knowledge of French, yes, it will. But uh, if uh, if you've done the background reading, it's more than worth it. Yes, but uh, I actually I ended up going to a different restaurant, and the waiter came over to me. He said, "Sir, sir, would you like to eat from the early bird menu?" And I said, "No, I hate the taste of worms." Yes, it's a proverb. And so uh, a, a, a different waiter came across and said, "Well, perhaps whilst you're waiting, I can offer you some hand-cooked crisps." I was like, "Oh my God, how hot are your hands?" And uh, and oily. And uh, a different, uh, a different waiter. How many waiters are there in this anecdote? <laughs> One more. A different waiter came across and said, "Would you like to hear the specials?" And I was like, "Yes, please." And he was like, "Stop your messing around." <laughs> so, so I went to get that tiny keyboard from mate. I want to borrow it. <laughs> I've got two left feet and two right feet, except I call them hooves, cause I'm a cow. That's another animal cover. And let me show you all the moves like Jagger, I got the moves like Jagger, I got the moves like You, you don't have to. I, I'm looking out, you know, about 300 people, and uh, there are a lot of confused faces. <laughs> so, but uh, by no means all confused. Some people showing signs of anger and uh, abject hatred. Uh, but um, how to describe my act? Uh, well, um, if you can imagine a piece of paper with a Venn diagram on it, and there's one circle labelled music, and an overlapping circle labelled comedy, and then my act um, is on another piece of paper. <laughs> Going, I just want to be a triangle. <laughs> I've got the body of a supermodel in plastic bin bags in my freezer. I <laughs> so, uh, so, just want to be a triangle. Uh, so I'll tell, you, uh, I'll tell you a bit more about myself. I'm not, um, I'm not just a comedian. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I said just. <laughs> so, I am not a comedian. <laughs> so, I just came to fix the PA and things got out of hand. But uh, I, uh, I am Butter Man, and I am Margarine Boy, and Tempers will fight crime. It's a, well, not this afternoon, Margarine Boy, who writes this rubbish? So you do, a traitor. But I think, um, I think whatever you do in life is just about having a positive mindset. Now, before this, I was a civil engineer, but uh, before that, I was a very rude engineer. But uh, I, think, I think whatever you do in life is just about having a positive mindset. So at the moment, the only thing holding you back is yourself. Said the bungee jump instructor <laughs> Plus the harness I love as I jump off the bridge And he's like, I haven't attached that yet It's a true story, lucky to be here <laughs> I bought some bird seed in 1995 But it still hasn't grown into a bird <laughs> Nonsense Ridiculous. I went back to that pet store as well. I went back to that pet store to buy a chameleon. Couldn't find any. <laughs> but uh, I'll, uh, I'll tell you a bit more about it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm lactose intolerant. Um, if you have fewer than five toes on each foot, I will not tolerate you. It's, uh, I am not your friend. It's uh, more than five toes, so six toes or more. Then uh, I don't know where I stand. <laughs> Taking all the floor space, there are extra toes just flapping around. Wearing two sandals on one foot, Derek. So I, I suppose I don't tolerate them either. <laughs> oh, the best place to come in a cooking competition is last, because then you win a wooden spoon. Useful. But uh, a lot of people come up to me after the gigs and say, Tom, Tom, um, are you from Wales? And I say, no, from humans. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, even though I don't find some of these funny. <laughs> this fly spray is not working, I'm still having to walk everywhere. But I, uh, 
I love walking, love walking. It's a, I won't be around today without walking, so I don't, uh, don't live at the venue. But I'll, uh, I'll, never forget, I'll never forget the advice my grandfather gave me, which was, um, you can always tell a transvestite, uh, because uh, they hang down from the ceiling, uh, whereas um, transvest mites, um, it isn't a word. <laughs> That's unnecessarily wordy, all right, as a joke, uh, especially for kids' comedy. But uh, I, actually, um, I actually got a 2-2 at university, but uh, was asked to take it off because it wasn't appropriate clothing for a medical student. <laughs> I, uh, I, did, uh, I did like school, though. I did like school. Uh, what, what do you do, my friend? Yes. You build fire engines. What a phenomenally manly job. Or was that always your dream job? What was your dream job, like age six or seven? Pilot. So, no, pretty good. What happened to that? You didn't concentrate enough at school, so you were in charge with building the vehicles for the... <laughs> Very important safety vehicles. That's cool. It's very manly though. I went to a new school when I was age six, and the teacher went around the class. Actually, my favourite thing about going to a new school was uh, uh, taking a letter home which said, Dear Parent or Guardian. I was like, Whose parent is a newspaper? But uh, I, I went to a new school, and uh, the teacher went around the class and asked everyone in the class what they wanted to be when they grew up. And all the boys in the class gave really manly answers like, I want to be a pilot, or I want to build fire engines, or I want to be a fine man, or police man, 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 man. It was just all really manly. And genuinely, age six, I wanted nothing more in the world than to to be a ladybird. That's, uh, that's just all I wanted to be, because I just loved ladybirds and reading. And so uh, when the teacher came round to me, and in order to try and fit in with a new class, I said, when I grow up, I want to be a ladyboy. And uh, I was asked to stay behind. <laughs> I don't know why. I, uh, I did get bullied quite a lot at school for looking like a girl because uh, we were watching this program about World War II evacuees and there was a girl on the program uh, called Audrey who looked identical to me and so then everyone in the school started calling me Audrey it was just Audrey, Audrey, Audrey all the time and I grew really sick of this and in the end I actually made a badge with my name on it and uh, pinned that to my dress There we go, it's wearing a dress <laughs> If you hold a pasta shell next to your ear you can hear a pan of boiling water <laughs> But uh, I am, uh, I'm trying to, I do like cakes I'm trying to eat better though Apparently McDonald's, apparently McDonald's is bad for us Oh but why didn't they tell us McDonald's was bad for us? Or what, the restaurant advertised by the killer clown?